And Tuesday's shootings are sparking a national conversation that spanned to the Bay Area. So we want to shine light on the conversation and the voices of the local Asian American community. ABC Action News reporter Anthony Hill speaks with one leader who explains how this week's violence is exposing a bigger problem. Violence against Asian Americans in this country is not new. It has existed since the time when the Chinese came and built the railroads across this country. Debbie Sines Crockett is a local attorney. She's also a Korean American trying to speak up for her community during a time where we're seeing an increase in hate crimes against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. Particularly in the larger cities where there are more Asian Americans or they're in, um, yes, I, th I think the sentiment is concern and anger. Concern for their safety in anger because over the past year, there were 122 incidents of anti-Asian hate crimes, according to a study from California State University. That's an increase of about 150% over the previous year. So then you have that cool factor, because Korean K-pop, K-dramas, all of that super popular right now. And then you combine that with what's going in our country where Asian Americans, and in particular in Georgia, some of those women were Korean Americans, have been targeted. There, there's a disconnect. The shooter reportedly told investigators that the shootings were not racially motivated. Though two of the sites where the shootings took place were 30 miles apart. Debbie says these events of violence toward Asian Americans have instilled a sense of anxiety, especially amongst older Asian Americans. Talk to me about the, the culture that exists within a lot of Asian American communities of being passive, of not saying anything, especially when faced with so much violence. I mean, I think it has to, a lot to do with um, Confucius upbringing as well, um, passivism, um, not wanting to be the one that stands out. Debbie tells me one of the ways to curve hate crimes is by supporting organizations that advocate for Asian Americans and by speaking up if you see something unjust happening. In Tampa, I'm in-depth reporter Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.